During the holidays, I was fortunate enough to spend time with my grandfather in the Blessed Land. Upon our return, my grandfather took ill. His illness made me reflect on many things in the daily life of a believer. Having studied the human anatomy clinically online, I marveled at the systematic creation of Allah. My grand. My grandfather was diagnosed with bowel obstruction. The main diagnostic tools were blood tests, x-rays of the abdomen, CT scanning, and ultrasound. I realized at this point that wherever we are stuck at in life and whatever problems we are facing, we need to diagnose our problems first. The chief diagnostic tools are our own conscious, a pious friend or an elderly person, or if you are learned enough then the light of the Quran and the Sunnah. Sometimes our own conscious will tell us that we are wrong and at others a pious friend or elderly will correct us and guide us, whilst at others we need to reflect to the Quran and the Sunnah to see where we are going wrong. All those studying medicine will agree with me that without correct diagnosis, treatment cannot be made. Having bowel obstruction meant his digestive system had come to a grinding halt. He was in a lot of discomfort and pain. Obstruction may be partial or complete. Partial obstruction can result in diarrhea, while a complete obstruction can result in an inability to pass gas or stool. My grandfather suffered from complete obstruction. He was not able to make a bowel movement or pass gas. Food was unable to pass through his, through his intestine. He was continuously vomiting and the pain was excruciating. When I pondered over this situation, I realized that at times we have certain blockages in our life. Sometimes it is just a bit of negligence towards Deen, where we find ourselves so busy in our lives that we get further and further away from Deen. At times it is a sin we are committing on a daily basis that is causing a blockage and we can't progress spiritually. It could be that we are unable to pray our prayers due to a hectic schedule. Our symptoms include discomfort in our lives. We feel like there is a void, empty feeling. Even midst of our friends and parting, we feel the missing link. Our symptoms also include depression problems and unhappiness in life. The blockage in a believer's life may be partial or complete. Complete blockage is due to persistently committing sin. His heart becomes blocked and no good is able to enter the heart. Regarding the complete blockage, the Prophet wasallam said, Verily, when the, when the servant commits a sin, a black spot appears in his heart. If he abandons the sin, seeks forgiveness and then repents, the heart will be polished. If he returns to the sin, the blackness will be increased until it overcomes his heart. It is the covering that Allah has mentioned. No, but on their hearts is a covering because of what they have earned. Anyways, the doctor advised us that he required a surgery in emergency. Now, we didn't want to waste time, but we wanted to have an often by a doctor who had prior experience. So we called many people who had undergone surgery and we contacted many doctors as well. 
We came up to the decision that we would take him to the Safa Trust Hospital. I realized at this point that when we are in need of advice and guidance, we too should refer to the experienced ones in the field and not rely on the internet and novices. Once we reached the hospital, my grandfather was taken for surgery. Intestinal obstruction repair is done while you are under general anesthesia. This means you are asleep and do not feel pain. But due to his age, he was not given general anesthesia as many complications could have arisen. Complications include multiple organ failure, kidney and heart failure. At this moment, I contemplated over the hadith of the Prophet there lies within the body a piece of flesh. If it is sound, the whole body is sound. If it is corrupted, the whole body is corrupted. Verily, this piece is the heart. I realized that just as the obstruction of the intestine can lead to multiple organ failures, blockage of a mu'min's heart can cause a multiple spiritual organ failure. Now, let me explain to you what happened in a bowel obstruction surgery. The surgeon makes a cut in your belly to see your intestines. Sometimes the surgery can be done using a laparoscope, which means smaller cuts are used. The surgeon locates the area of your intestine that is blocked, that, that is blocked and unblocks it. Any damaged parts of your bowel will be repaired or removed. This procedure is called bowel resection. If a section is removed, the healthy ends will be reconnected with stitches or staples. Sometimes when part of the intestine is removed, the ends cannot be reconnected. If this happens, the surgeon will bring one end out through an opening in the abdominal wall. This may be done using a colostomy or ileostomy. This is what they did. They remove the blockage and part of the and part of the intestine which is dead. They stitched him up again. At this point, another realization dawned upon me that once the diagnosis is made, we need to go one step further and remove the obstruction. We need to pluck out those sins from our lives. We need to remove the malice, hatred, envy from our hearts. We need to remove those hindrances that are an obstruction in our path so that we can progress. Immediately after the op, he was unable to eat and drink, but he was feeling fresh and revived. He was also given a lot of IV fluids. Immediately after the operation, my grandfather started talking. He felt relieved. Alhamdulillah, this operation not only improved his metabolism, but also certain skin disorders he had for many years amazingly disappeared as though they were not there. I realized at this point that once the obstruction in our lives is removed, it will not only improve our lifestyle, but will correct many underlying factors that were there because of the symptoms. My grandfather was given rib therapy for almost a week. The drip therapy is an effective way to deliver nutrients, vitamins and medications to the body because this technique works with the circulatory, circulatory system. Supplements are administered directly into the bloodstream by passing the digestive system making nutrients available for immediate use. Not only does this accelerate the effectiveness of the treatment, the digestive system expands energy to metabolize antibiotics and supplements significantly. IV drips ensure 100% absorption for maximum effect and minimal waste. SubhanAllah, at this point, I once again realized that the removal of the obstruction was not sufficient. But we need to keep in touch with the pious people, listen to religious scholars, recite the Quran with understanding, and this will keep us energized like the IV drip does drop by drop. Every association with the pious will be like an IV drip energizing your Iman. 
Every recital of the Quran is understanding will be like the ivy drip, reviving your spirituality. My take home message to all medical and other students is diagnose yourself and remove the obstructions from your life and your life will become serene and full of bliss. Zakumullah khairan for your time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.